Hi, Guy Leninka. Um, so here's the administrative area. I will give you the login for it. And here's the home page of the administrative area. Most of your content isn't found in, in um, just a, a few different areas. Articles, you just go to Content Article Manager, and you can see your text here for about Gila, for example. So if you want to edit any of this text, you just click on there and you just highlight the text that you want and you just use all these icons or just type in different text here. And to change a link or to make some text link to somewhere else, say you want to link this word guarantees, you just highlight that word and then you just press this little link button and you can see when you move your mouse over an icon it says in insert or edit a link so you just click that and then you just put the link say you want it to go to cnn.com you just type that and you just press insert so now when someone clicks on the word guarantees it goes to cnn.com I'm not going to save that but I just use that as an example Okay, say you wanted to insert another photo. You just put your mouse where you want the photo to go, like over here in front of the word communicator. And then you just click this little icon to the right of the, uh, the link icon. And it looks like a picture, and that's what it is. It's for pictures. And then you, on the right here, you see this other, it looks like a picture again. It's for uploading. So you just click... Um, I'm just going to create a screenshot of this, for example, and I'm going to, so when you click on that little icon there, it says, okay, drop images. So now I'm just going to drop that little screenshot that I created, and I'm going to press upload, and there it is there, okay, so that's the screenshot. Then I'm going to press insert, okay, so there's that image, I uh, just created a screenshot, and then that's that will upload, uh, pardon me, that will um, be part of this text now. Now, another trick, or a very important trick, is to when you're, is to click alignment. Uh, most of the time photos look a lot nicer if they're aligned left or right. Let's align this one right. Now you can see over here what it looks like here, right alignment, and then left alignment, here. So I su always suggest you align your text left or right. And I think, I think I've made the suggestion before that you should try and find photos of uh, Gila in action, talking to people. I think that will help a lot. So uh, once you find those photos, if you want me to do it, I can do it. But if you want to try and do it yourself, get them small so they're about three, 400 pixels wide. Um, and the way to do that is if you don't know how to do that, I think it's, uh, there's a lot of sites that do this, but I think one is called Pick resize.com and yeah so just go to pickresize.com and um, there you can change the proportions of it so uh, so you just browse and you get your large picture like this one for example um, and then I press continue okay now let's say we want it smaller so right now it's 214 and if we want to make it 50 percent smaller I mean, this is a bad example because it's 100 pixels is quite small. 200 is about right. But say you had a, pic a photo of like 1,000 pixels or something like that, then you want to make it about three or 400 pixels. So you just go down here and you um, just choose, you know, make my picture. I would generally choose custom size and just make it about 400 pixels wide and just leave the height off. Uh, I usually just leave that off, okay? And that way it'll be proportional. And then press uh, down here, I'm done, resize my photo. Oh, one thing, mistake I made, I said choose PNG. You want to choose uh, JPEG for photos, um, but basically uh, you, the width you enter cannot be greater than the original width. Yeah, so this is a bad example because the the photo was small that I chose with and it's helping you out it's saying don't make your image um, bigger than the original size that's not a good practice so generally it's always about making the picture smaller so the photo downloads faster and makes your page load faster so for the heck of it I'm going to do make it smaller 
make it custom. I'm going to make this oh, 100 pixels wide and I'm choosing JPEG. I'm done. Resize my photo and now I'm going to press download. Well, actually just click view image. So here's this image. Here's the result now and it's very small now. But, you know, this is just an example. Okay, so that's what you do in here and uh, choose uh, again left or right alignment and then you just stick it in there and um, for the heck of it I'm going to uh, um, well let's see if it's too late if I can still download okay I'm going to download it download the this small image okay yeah I downloaded it onto my desktop so no I don't want to do that uh, click uh, and did it. Uh, anyway, um, click to download. Okay, it, it it created a whole little application, and we don't want that. So, um, okay, I was mistaken. Don't press this download button on the right. Just click um, save to disk, and then the image will download onto your desktop. Um, this big, huge green download button. Um, is probably a spamware so don't don't download it and again you could just click um, view image and then just drag your the image onto your desktop if you have a Mac or just press save to disk which is probably the simplest and then once it's saved to disk then you can um, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to uh, press this image again and I'm going to upload it again and this, the new smaller one which is only 107 pixels uploading it and there it is there and I'm putting it in and I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, left alignment and I'm gonna put um, tw 12 pixels uh, and equal values that means it's gonna have 12 pixels border uh, space all around it and there it is there so the new smaller image with 12 pixels of buffer all around it and that's it for the picture insertion and I'm going to close that because we're not want to saving anything now to manage all your images you go to content media manager now those two images that I just inserted I want to delete now uh, where are they hard let's just go I'm gonna type instead of this thumbnail view and then detail view and for me it's easier to see in this case the screenshot I'm going to delete and the one that was resized where is that one there we go this one here this so I want to delete both of those images and I just go click them and then I press delete on the top so here's how you can up also upload images here in this way as well um, so you click the upload button on the top left and some of these images folders on this left like this sample data I'm going to click it I'm going to go back up to the main folder and let's just go up to anyway you can delete these folders if you have time just click on the folder right here and just click delete there we go Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Press delete. Okay. So there you go. So that's how you can clean up that. Now the other area of main part of your site is called is the module manager. So just go extension, module manager. And if you're looking for any key words like what you can see what clients say, but if you can't find anything, just generally type in the sub the title and you can see we have two of them here so this one is uh, on the sidebar over here and this one is on the bottom so if you want to edit the one on the side you just click on that one, that one and there you go there you can just add some more testimonials or remove it so there you go and yeah, let's just take a look at the other one there and let's just see what other examples um, okay as far as your site goes let's just take a quick look at else we might want to edit um, 
Okay, what else we got here? My cell property is Okay. So this is an article here. These are modules. Those are modules. And you're okay, your slideshows. Let's go on to your slideshows now. How to edit those. That's the important thing. Okay, components. Uh, Unite slide showbiz. That's where we want to go. And so then we go to sliders. And you can see we have two of them. One for your bottom slideshow and one for your home page top. Let's go and edit the one, your home page top slideshow. And those are the settings. You probably should leave the settings alone. But if you want to play with them, that's where you go. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different settings, scroll settings. See, we have them at set at six milliseconds, which means six seconds per photo. And then a nice slow nine, sec nine millisecond, which is just under one second transition. So if you want to speed up the transition a little bit, you change that down to, say, 600. And if you want to speed it up, I don't suggest that you do. Um, then you can change that down to 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. So uh, I would suggest that you just leave all these settings alone for a while and focus on the other things, which is the like the example, the editing, the slides. So for example, if you want a new slide, you press new slide down the bottom left and you just click here. And if you've already uploaded it, you just choose one. Otherwise, you just um, press down here, start upload. Oops, no, you don't you do that. For what you do is you choose it here, okay? And then you click your, your image and you press start upload, okay? Then once it's uploaded, then you can select it and it is this one here. And then you press insert, okay? And again, this is just that screenshot. And then once it's uploaded, then you can press edit slide. And the text, oh, someone's phoning, hang in there. Okay, so here's where you put the text that shows up at the bottom of the slide. So let's just call this test. And on the second line, if you want a second line, you just put in break for it to, for, to go to a second line. And then put in, uh, I'll just call this second line, okay. And I'm just going to, for the heck of it, I'm just going to show you, um, oh yeah, if you want it to link somewhere, uh, if you want it to link to um, um, an MLS number uh, on Sabato, then you just find a, an example of another link and you just enable it and you just put this link in here. And I'll show you that in a, in a second. Uh, well, actually, I could show you it for you right now. Let's just go here and let's just... Um, click on this one and you can see the link up here okay everything would be the same except the MLS number so I'm just gonna copy that okay and I'm just gonna go here and I'm just gonna put the link in here now in real life if this was a real listing I just changed the MLS number okay so but for the heck of it demonstration purposes I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and I'm gonna press up to date the slide and I'm gonna quickly um, go back to the home page and we're gonna find that this bad slide is in here there it is there and you see how the proportions are wrong but it's all working and the link actually works so when I click here but we've got to delete this really quickly um, because it's really ugly so the proportions of the photos need to be the same so I need to go back to slides here I need to go back to whoops and then press edit slides and then go down here and delete this ugly slide quickly. There we go. So there you go. So the proportions of, that's what we just discovered, they, and they need to be this more or less the same. And you can see um, that a good side slide that, um, that has worked proportionally is 900 pixels wide. Let's just take a look at your image editor. I'm going to go here. Oh, we're almost running out of time. So um, I think 900 by whatever the dimensions are. So MLS and not, look, they're all 900 by 600. So keep that as your standard. Then the this, this slideshow will look really nice. Okay, so I think that's a good start. So let's, let me know what other tutorials you need for anything else moving forward. Thank you.